The newest set of Pokemon cards, Lost Origin, comes out this week. So let's get a closer look at the set by opening up our very own booster box right now. So I picked up a couple of products like you saw, but I wanted to open up one booster box and keep my other booster box sealed because um, I just like doing that. It's good to keep a sealed collection. Um, so let's crack this bad boy open. Um, I'm very, very excited for this new set. They have a couple of awesome, awesome arts, uh, including that new Golden Pikachu. They have the Giratina, which comes in an alternate art and some really, really cool cards. So let's put this off to the side. There we go, we got it kind of uh, <laughs> focused. Um, I'm actually just getting used to a new setup, so please bear with me <laughs> if you can. Um, I'm so used to working in my bedroom. I'm gonna give out all the code cards as well. Um, but let's guess the energy on this first one. Let's guess Psychic Energy, Leaf. So I'm gonna try and go a little slower, but the uh, as we get through, we will speed up a little bit. This is a lot of packs to open, and I typically used to never, as we get a greeting, used to never um, open up full booster boxes in these sets, uh, or in these videos. But I do feel like it does, uh, it does deserve to be seen. Um, but of course, as we look through the set, cards start to get repetitive, especially the commons. Um, so we just won't have to go through them as intently. Let's guess water energy. Oh, lightning. Um, but yeah, I just asked that if you like what you see as we go through this, that you hit that like and subscription button because they both help me out a lot. And uh, I've been trying to work on my quality of videos and such a horsey and a Kiram V. So our nice, our first pull. Very, very nice card. Um, so we get into our next pack. If you could, let me know in the comments what your favorite card in this set is because I love interacting with you all in the comments and it does help me out a lot that uh, you are all paying attention and doing some fun things. Uh, let's go with fire energy. Um, and it's not that like I'm here to <laughs> quiz you or anything, um, but I just like knowing that you're all engaged and enjoying these videos because otherwise, you know, I would like to change some stuff up as we get a Rhyperior non-hollow. Um, the one thing that kind of scares me about this set is that while I was picking this up, I'm pretty friendly with the shop owner that I get my cards from, and he had opened up a full case, and it looked like he didn't really get too, too many pulls. Um, the, obviously, the arts were nice that he was getting, um, but for the most part, like it seemed like the pull rates just weren't amazing, even though they do have the character rare slot still, a Porygon Z, and a Parasite, which that to me actually looked like it had some shine on it, funny enough. Um, so we get into our next pack. So I'm hoping that we do get some good pulls today. I think you all deserve to see some good pulls. I would love to add to my collection. Uh, we'll go straight through this one. Gumi, Meditite, Green, a Roserade. So there we go, our first character rare. Character rare, whoa, can't talk. Which is really, really beautiful. Now, if you watched the last video that I put up on the channel, I did play in a pre-release tournament for this set. So we did get to see some of the cards, like that Seedra was like a main part of our deck. Um, and if you haven't, I suggest that you go and watch it only because it, it was a really fun video to make and I think that you would all enjoy it. Uh, let's go with the Water Energy Psychic. Um, it was really cool. We got some cool pulls um, and then we got to play in a tournament, which I always think is fun uh, content. A Hisuian Growlithe and a Hisuian and Arcanine. So what a perfect little match right there. Now today that I'm posting this is either Tuesday or Wednesday and this set officially drops on Friday at like retail stores. But if you do go to a store that holds events uh, through like Pokemon tournaments, they do get these sets early. So that is why I'm able to open it today for you all. Um, so if you ever have a chance, I would go and look at your local stores that do tournaments if you want like uh, to get stuff earlier in the week. So, um, whoa, it, it is Monday that I am actually making this video. So by the time it's edited and put out, it will be um, like a day or two. Let's guess water energy. Ooh, nice. So we call that, it looks like we have something. Hopefully it's something good. Uh, there's some really good arts, like the uh, Golden Pikachu and Golden Mew VMAX. And there it is, a Golden Pikachu VMAX, right on time. Just as I'm talking about, as the next card is a Polyrath, which is totally cool. But this card is insane. I was really looking forward to being able to pull this. All right, on to our next pack. Funny enough, my camera actually just died. So had to wait for that to charge and Aaron came home with some tropical smoothie. Uh, let's just go straight through this one. Ooh, and of course, <laughs> I spoil something, which it's looking like a rainbow card. Dynamo, a dugong, and, oh no, a Hisui and Gudra V-Star, though. That is a nice card. Not a rainbow rare like I thought it was, but we'll definitely take that pull. 
Also, I've been loving the pack art on this. If you could let me know in the comments what your favorite pack art is, that'd be really cool to hear. I'm thinking that I like the Gardevoir um, the most. I just think it looks really cool. Um, they have the Radiant Gardevoir in this set, which, <laughs> I, uh, man, I can't even talk. This is the second time that this happened that I've talked about the card as we pull it. And this is a double banger of a pack as we take a closer look at the Radiant Gardevoir and the Galarian Berserker V, which is a really nice card. I haven't even seen that. I try not to look at the set like too much before it comes out, um, just so that I don't like get spoiled and I can get a little bit more hyped when I do get a pull. Um, I actually don't know what like most of the gold and rainbow cards are. I know that there is the Giratina um, alternate art, which I'm really hoping that we pull today because I think that'd be very fun. Um, Phalanx, Poliwag, Iskan, and a Cramoran. And also with this set, if you do see, it has this border on some of these cards. So they are introducing a new mechanic called the Law Zone, which I believe was uh, in the TCG at one point, but they haven't used it in a while. And if you play Yu-Gi-Oh, it is kind of like a Banished Zone. Um, it could, that could be in other games as well, but I don't play anything besides Pokemon and I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, but it's pretty cool that it's coming back. I mean, it definitely adds a new dimension to the game. Um, I'm pretty excited for it. I keep on going to do the pack trick, but I think uh, I've given up on that for today, just because we have so many packs. Um, a Panic Mask and a Sumian Basculum, which is a holographic. I think that might be our second holographic, actually. I was thinking it was our first. Now, like I said, I am opening this a bit earlier than most people will have access to, but if you have gotten your hands on this, I would definitely like to hear what you have pulled so far, um, because I, like I said, I didn't see extremely great uh, pull rates and we've gotten some cool pulls, but nothing, uh, no actual gold yet since that gold Pikachu VMAX is from the trainer gallery. And um, I don't even know what all of the alt arts are, but I haven't even seen one like at all today. So like I said, when I went to the shop, I saw them opening up a case, a Snorlax, an MMQ, um, and I didn't see it at all. Bruh. Ooh, double hoopa. Bruh. All right, well, two in a row that we didn't get anything, which is fine. Murkrow, Horsey, Mawile. Ooh, a Chandelure, which is really cool. And a Spectrier, which is actually cool because they had the Calyrax uh, VMAX and V cards that came out, and they never actually did anything with Spectrier. So this is their like first card that they're going to get, which is super cool. And this is such a nice uh, trainer gallery. All right, so we're on our last pack on the first side. Super exciting to be getting through this. There you go, code card. Uh, again, keep going to do this pack trick. Murkrow, Horsey, a Raichu, which I think is actually a really cool card, and a Glysaur. So we are on our second half now. Like I said, the pulls are okay, not bad. Um, hopefully we get something because I really would like a nice Seeker Rare a Manetric and a Glastrier. So now we, there we go. So that is the Ice Rider uh, horse that I, I actually don't know much about this Pokemon because I wasn't playing at the time of it uh, releasing. There you go. Dot, Horsey, Meditite, Chelos, Jinx, and a Parasect. So we know more about the newest game that's gonna be coming out, Scarlet and Violet. So that'll be the newest uh, Pokemon set, which is super cool. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments because the game actually looks really cool. As we get a Rotom V, very, very nice V card. Um, we have gotten some more information, but uh, the game definitely looks a lot different than what Sword and Shield was. Um, being that it's like more of an actual open world, it seems like, and being able to play with friends in like a story mode setting. Whirlpool, Shumpid, a... Whoa, Barbacle, which is a Lost Zone card, and a Giratina V-Star. So this is the card that everybody pretty much wants to get that's playing competitively. And I did pull one in that pre-release video, but super cool to add a second one because now I'm a lot more likely to build a deck around this. All right, one other card that I definitely would like to get is the Radiant Steelix. Um, I know that a lot of people don't like when the Chinese per, uh, Pokemon are gold, but for some reason, I really like it. And Electric, oh, Electric and Electric. <laughs> and a Manectric, wow, a lot of Electric Pokemon in that one. And a Haunter, I really like this art. Dang, nothing there. Now I wanna thank you all for being patient with the videos that I've been releasing. If you have been subscribed for a while or if you're new, oh, and a Radiant Steelix. <laughs> so this is exactly what I was talking about, having it be a golden shiny card, which I just, I don't know, I love. Um, super, super cool. I don't even know if this is actually a good card. I'm gonna be looking more at the abilities later. Um, 
But I was just excited to add that to the collection. But yeah, of course I get distracted, but thank you so much for being patient as I've been uploading videos a bit more frequently now. Um, I'm still taking my time. Right now I'm at like once a week and I'm hoping to keep close to that. Uh, like I said, I wanted to do three videos a month at the least. Maybe I can do once a week. Hopefully I can uh, keep up with that Torkoal and a Cramorant. But I have some really cool ideas for future videos and I'm excited to implement them and show you all like what my creative mind has been trying to think of uh, as I've been studying the algorithm for YouTube a lot recently. Uh, I'm watching a lot of Mr. Beast and other creators. The Porygon. Oh, now this is a beautiful character rare. The Pikachu B with the Red Trainer. This is so cool. This is actually one of the cards that I wanted to get. There's like another Pikachu card too. And they're just, oh, they're so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I love that they added this kind of art style into these sets and a dust ox. Code card for you there. And if you could also let me know in the comments because I've been kind of going back and forth with doing some other uh, Pokemon stuff. As we get a nice Pidgeot V, which is really, really cool. Um, how you all feel about vintage cards still because I would definitely like to make content with that as it seems that prices on vintage cards are going down a little bit. Um, I would love to do that more, but if there is no interest for it, then I might stay away from it and focus on other projects that I've been working on. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Oh, a nice Snorlax, which I really like this character rare as well, and a Chandelure, which is a nice holographic. But this is just so, so nice. But yeah, because I have a collection of modern stuff as well as vintage stuff. I have two different binders for it actually, so that I can make sure I stay on top of collecting each one uh, individually. Um, I don't like to mix up how I collect a Greedent and a Stone Journey. And on this channel, I have only actually opened up two vintage packs. And I have like a couple that I have collected um, to not be opened. Um, but I would definitely look to get, I think um, the jungle packs have gone down in price. They're like less than 200 now, the rocket packs are. So I would definitely be willing to open up one or two of them in future videos if uh, that was desired. Um, but let's look at this pack, a Zerua, Snover, a Misfortune Scissor, and a Drapion B Full Art. So that is actually our first Full Art of the day. So that's really, really cool. All right, so we have three packs left. If you are still watching, thank you for making it all the way through to basically the end of this video. Um, I do appreciate you watching it all the way through. It does help me out a lot. Um, and like I said, we're just trying to grow so that we can start to uh, do bigger things on this channel. Uh, so an Arcanine and a Sableye, which is a really cool card. I don't know, I like the art on this a lot. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic on these last two. Hopefully we can get something. Nothing there. And if you haven't already, hit that like button for some last pack magic as my camera's about to die. Hopefully this actually stays on. <laughs> Gonna have to rush through this one. And nothing there. But hey, thank you so much for checking this out. I do appreciate you being here. If you're looking for more content, hit one of the videos on screen now and there's plenty more to watch. But enjoy the rest of your day and night whenever you get around to watching this. I will see you later.